Colossal, the trailblazing biotechnology company, has embarked on a remarkable mission that seems plucked from the pages of science fiction. The revival of the dodo, a creature long lost to the annals of extinction. This audacious project showcases Colossal's unwavering commitment to pushing the boundaries of genetic engineering, and it holds the potential to revolutionize our understanding of extinct species and the delicate balance of Earth's ecosystems. The dodo, an enchanting bird known scientifically as Raphus cucolatus, possessed a distinct charm with its plump physique, sturdy beak, and comically short wings. Standing at an impressive three feet tall and weighing around 20 kilograms, the dodo's appearance was both captivating and amusing. Its name, derived from the Portuguese word dudo, meaning foolish or simpleton, reflects the bird's apparent lack of fear towards humans, which likely contributed to its demise. The dodo's story is intertwined with its unique island habitat. Over millions of years, on the isolated island of Mauritius, the dodo evolved in a predator-free environment, gradually losing its ability to fly. This adaptation allowed the bird to flourish as it feasted on a diet of fruits, seeds, and fallen vegetation, becoming an integral part of the island's ecosystem. The fateful encounter between humans and the dodo transpired when Portuguese sailors stumbled upon Mauritius in 1505. Captivated by the dodo's peculiar appearance and curious behavior, these early visitors were astounded by the bird's seemingly fearless nature. However, the arrival of Dutch settlers in the early 17th century sealed the dodo's tragic fate. The settlers, driven by their desire to exploit the island's resources, cleared forests and introduced non-native species that ravaged the dodo's habitat and depleted its food sources. Sailors and their domesticated animals hunted the dodo for sustenance, taking advantage of the bird's lack of fear and limited capacity for flight. Rats, pigs, and monkeys, introduced by humans, further contributed to the dodo's decline, potentially consuming their eggs and disrupting their fragile existence. By the 1680s, a mere few decades after human arrival, the dodo had vanished from the island forever, leaving behind only fragmented accounts and artistic renditions to remind us of its existence. In recent years, the concept of de-extinction has captured the imagination of scientists as they explore the frontiers of biotechnology and genetic manipulation. The Dodo De-Extinction Project, spearheaded by Colossal, stands as an epitome of this revolutionary approach. Rather than resurrecting the original species through a mythical time machine, the company aims to create a living replica, a modern interpretation of the Dodo. Within the visionary team behind the project, Professor Beth Shapiro shines as a luminary figure. Recognized for her expertise in ancient genomics, Professor Shapiro has dedicated her career to unraveling the mysteries of vanished creatures. Her groundbreaking work includes the successful sequencing of a fragment of mitochondrial DNA from a dodo specimen, providing invaluable insights into the genetic makeup of this iconic extinct bird. Through the analysis of ancient DNA, Professor Shapiro and her team have pieced together the puzzle of the dodo's evolutionary history. By comparing the dodo's genetic information with that of its closest living relatives, such as pigeons and doves, they have uncovered fascinating details about the bird's unique genetic adaptations and its place within the avian family tree. This genetic analysis revealed that the dodo's closest living relatives are the Nicobar pigeon and the crowned pigeon, with the divergence occurring approximately 25 million years ago. Furthermore, by delving into specific genes related to various traits, Professor Shapiro has inferred intriguing details about the dodo's appearance and behavior. The fragmented nature of the obtained DNA leaves some questions unanswered, but the research hints at the dodo's adaptations that allowed it to thrive in the isolated Mauritian environment. Beyond its scientific implications, Professor Shapiro's work carries profound significance for conservation efforts and our understanding of extinction. By unlocking the secrets of ancient genomics, researchers gain valuable insights into the factors that contributed to the demise of extinct species. Genetic bottlenecks, inbreeding, and vulnerabilities within populations can be identified, leading to improved conservation strategies for endangered species today. Professor Beth Shapiro's pioneering research on ancient genomics, including the sequencing of the dodo's DNA, not only pushes the boundaries of scientific knowledge, but also ignites a spark of curiosity and wonder. Her work inspires a new generation of scientists to explore the genetic mysteries of the past 
and serves as a potent reminder of our interconnectedness with the natural world. As Colossal continues to advance its groundbreaking Dodo de-extinction project, the company remains cognizant of the ethical and practical challenges that lie ahead. By collaborating with conservation organizations, policymakers, and scientific communities, they strive to ensure transparency, thorough evaluation, and the minimization of potential risks. While the de-extinction of the dodo may evoke debates and concerns, Colossal's work goes beyond a single species. It serves as a catalyst for broader discussions on the feasibility and ethical dimensions of reviving other extinct species. This pioneering effort may contribute to the preservation of biodiversity and the restoration of ecosystems that have been altered by human activities. Colossal's audacious Dodo de-extinction project epitomizes the spirit of scientific inquiry, pushing the boundaries of what is possible and shedding light on the intricate tapestry of life on Earth. As we embark on this extraordinary journey, it is vital that we balance scientific exploration with ethical considerations and collaborative efforts to ensure a sustainable future for our planet and its remarkable inhabitants.